In this section, we are going to cover the integration between Media 100 and Final Cut. And for that, I have footage from an independent feature film we are doing the post-production right now. The film is called Altair, and it's directed by Martin Chiborowski, director, which we work uh, together with quite often. Let's have a look at the timeline in Media 100. I have to cl uh, shrink down the windows a little bit. So. Um, you can see that we already have different, uh, some different clips here in the timeline. We have some effects here, like this clip here on the V1 track. It has an alpha channel with some uh, overlays. We already have a little bit of uh, sounds down here, forest atmosphere, some music bits. Um, later on, we have some sound effects like gunshots when, the, uh, when they are shooting at our heroes. and um, that's what we have right now. Um, the main thing is that these days uh, you have editors on different systems like Avid and Final Cut and Media 100 and Media 100 has the option to exchange material between the different editing systems. So we are going to assume that uh, we want to move our rough edit here over to an editor working on Final Cut and um, since the guy is working on a different editing computer, we have to give him not only the timeline, but also the media files as associated with the timeline. So let's first have a look at our media files here. Um, if I select all the clips in the timeline and then right click them, I can use the get clip info command down here. And uh, bin gets opened. Let's move it over here so you can see it. Um, with the info about the clips I have used here in the timeline. Most of the stuff is in Apple ProRes 422 codec, as you can see here. The frame size is 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second. And we also have some Apple animation uh, files here with Alpha Channel. Since Media 100 does uh, playback clips with Alpha Channel in this format in real time. Okay. So we're going to close the window again and the first step I would have to do is to make sure that we have all media files collected in one location like on a Firewire drive to move it over to the Final Cut Pro system. So I'm going to make sure that I have selected my timeline and then I'm going to the file menu and going to collect files from program. This command allows me um, to collect all the files in a single location. Okay, let's create a new folder here. I name this Altaya FCP transfer. Transfer, so. And the system is starting to copy all the media files to this single folder. The next thing I would have to do is to create a timeline version that Final Cut actually can read. Um, all the different editing systems have different native file formats, but in these days it's quite easy to move over timeline data because many systems these days now support the X Apple Final Cut XML format. Media 100 can read and write this X XML format, um, and this is what we are going to use to move the files over. So let's go to the file export XML. It's again asking where to save it. Let's put it in the FCP transfer folder again. Let's name it Altair Forest Presentation XML. And right now we are leaving these uh, buttons down here unchecked. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit later what they actually mean. So let's do the export. The system thinks a second. And now we have created the XML that would be, uh, that can be read by Final Cut. Let's jump over to Final Cut to see if this actually worked. 